why is why is that important to be taught to like a younger generation? Well, I feel like I, you know, before the bankruptcy happened with Detroit, I, I said something's got to be done. There's too many bad news uh, pieces and that I'm seeing every day, I'm, and I'm tired of it. And um, we, I started to feel like we need to tell our own stories. We need to set the record straight. Detroit needs better PR. Mm. That's all. It's that's all it takes, is to create a new story. And we and these new stories have to show the beautiful side of Detroit. And I know where that is. So that's part of that answers part of your question. What was the other part of your question? Why is it important for like this might be less about teaching, but like. The, the, your film our begins, passion, the, the fuel behind our passion yeah, for telling this story. But, but also, like, why is it important, do you think, to understand, like, this lineage? Mm. Um, like, in the beginning of the film, it's that, that focus on EDM, and I forgot the guy's name who you're interviewing, and he's like, most people don't even know who mm. these originators of, let alone that it came from America and came from Detroit. Mm -hmm. um, well, like, I guess I'm asking, like, why does that matter, like, to you guys, and, and how, like... Yeah. I know it does matter because yeah. you made a film let about me, it. Uh, yeah, let me uh, <laughs> jump on this right quick. Uh, it matters because this is this is my story. Like the the guy Juan Atkins, his grandmother grew up around the block from me, right? And so I've known for years that uh, techno has come from Detroit. But you start talking to people, and they immediately say, "Oh, house," you know. Yeah, I know techno is called house, you know. It's, so then you're like, okay, well, hold on. It's not house. It's actually this whole other genre, you know. It's from Detroit. And I've had this kind of conversation with people since uh, 1989, you know. Techno's from Detroit. Oh, I never heard not from Detroit. So, you know, it's just I really felt like this was core to who I am. Right? And uh, telling Juan's story and the story about my neighborhood like I can tell, essentially tell my story mm -hmm. through by uh, tapping in uh, who Juan is, you know, and uh, that's important in an educational standpoint because now we're look people still look at Detroit as like Hitsville or Motown, and what we're talking about is how this how this Detroit's kind of reputation for being a music capital didn't die with Motown and Hitsville. We're actually talking about from Hitsville to EDM, that, that Detroit still has a, a presence in terms of uh, the sonic things that we sell throughout the world, if, if I'm saying that correctly, yeah. the things that we market. Yeah. And uh, Detroit just as she said, you, you want to figure out a way to market Detroit in such a in a way that's counter the narrative. Techno, the story of techno is that, and um, you know, uh, it's just it was important for me to be uh, on some team. Like I don't care what it is. When people were crewing up for Detroit stuff, I'd be like, Yo, I'm down. You know, I want to work on it because I'm from Detroit. So just that in itself made made it where. I really felt like we had to tell a story. And we just did UCLA earlier this year. We showed them clips too. Just, But the professor was like, I really want you guys to finish because I want to get this into our curriculum here. And so that's when we were like, OK. You know, people had been telling us that when this film comes out, it's going to be kind of the definitive uh, story. So you guys, you're going to be in universities and stuff. So you're, the accuracy, you have to have a le mm -hmm. level of accuracy. Like, so you are who was helping us throughout this whole process. I mean, just imagine uh, their, the pressure that they put on us to be accurate, mm -hmm. you know? So they knew Corn and Mike, those guys that you are, they knew what we were doing was going to uh, tap in to kind of like broader culture. So there was there was always kind of uh, this pressure from them to be as accurate as we possibly can. 